Have you ever wondered, should I actually start a YouTube channel? You know, why? Why should I? What's in it for me? What's the point? Well, I've got a few ideas that might help you make that decision. So let's get into it. Hello friends, back again. Hope you are well as per normal. Always got to say subscribe. That'd be amazing if you can. And hope you're doing really, really, really well and had a good weekend. So here we are, Sunday afternoon. It's been an awesome weekend. Spent some time with the kids yesterday. Absolutely fab. And now back, got all the chores done. Let's see the washing's out of the way. Basically, finished my hypnosis MP3, finally. And got some good feedback from that. So thank you, Jeff, or Julia, or Georgia, or Victoria, or Veronica. Thank you. And obviously, I have to also thank my absolute inspiration currently for the last X weeks of good old uh, Gemma Stone. Thank you. Right, let's let's crack on with this so have you ever thought about maybe doing a youtube channel or didn't really know what to do or why but you just like the idea of it well i want to kind of share with you some pointers some ideas and kind of what made me start to do it the thing with youtube is it's a great free way to share content with the world depending on what your interest is or your genre or niche your particularly want to focus on it's an amazing way to get the information out there now obviously it's video so one of the things I suppose the fundamental things is you have to have some sort of comfort being on camera and be a big head show off like myself or all the other millions of people but not necessarily it could be the fact that you could do videos with you not actually in the video sort of like a voiceover type thing with maybe some animation or pictures or or just pretty much all b-roll with just a, a voiceover now also good and there are many 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 channels like that so it's not just the fact that you have to be super confident and super comfortable in front of the camera at all but it does sort of help because ultimately your audience wants to sort of get to know and see you so if you are on camera brilliant they get to know you and it's an amazing way to build a rapport build a relationship with your audience to get to know you and like you and trust you quicker because written word is great that's amazing there's no sort of tonality or anything like that podcast or audio better because you can get tonality but i can't remember the the numbers but there's huge most percent huge most good english huge percentage of communication is visual it's body language and then it's tonality and then it's the actual word you say so video is an amazing way to build up a relationship with your audience over the subject that you want to do now when you first start if you are a bit nervy about being on camera and stuff like that, do not worry about it. I know that's easier said than done because everyone, literally everyone has felt like that at first. And if you look back to everyone's first videos, they are pretty shocking. I started doing videos on Facebook and I remember the first ones I did, I was really like wooden and then I thought, no, this is, I can't mess this up. What I'm gonna do, I've got my iPad. And I actually got a teleprompter app put the iPad up there. I thought this would be good because it's all the words. And I was reading it and I wrote it like a very conversational piece rather than a, a blog post or a book type thing. But it still sounded very, very wooden and no kind of emotion. And the problem is you're sort of not looking at the camera. You're kind of looking over there and it's just, there's no connection, terrible. So I ditched that, I'll say soon after, after probably about 10 videos. And then what really, really helped me get over a fear of being on the camera is Facebook Lives. Because whilst that might just fill you with terror, because it's live, there's no redo, there's no edit, it's get on with it live. Because it's live and you know you can't redo it again, it teaches you or makes you comfortable with just carry on regardless. If you fluff your words, doesn't matter. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And doing so many of those, I did those daily for a real long time. It kind of got me used to not caring about sort of being judged or anything like that. But I do sometimes leave in errors, as you have probably seen, and put the kind of little bleeps in because I think it's funny and it shows a bit of a, a human side that we all make errors. Really, I don't edit much out because, yeah. Um, um. <laughs> so getting used to being on camera is a sort of a, a process. At first you're probably not, but then the more you do it, the more you do it, it's fine. And if you ever get any kind of comments or haters and negative feedback, just, you know, fuck it, whatever. If people can be bothered to take time out of their day to leave negative comments, then they've really got all going on in their life. 
So really, it doesn't matter. In fact, when you get your first kind of hate comments, it's almost like, ah, you've arrived because you're reaching enough people to find someone that doesn't like your stuff. So it's almost something to celebrate. Just getting on camera is, it said, is a process and it just takes some practice. And the more you do it, the more comfortable you get and you get sort of framing. So then if you're gonna zoom in, zoom out, you're not gonna basically cut the top of your head off, etc. like I did a few episodes ago. And you start to learn both the, I don't wanna sort of say filmmaking, process but it is basically filmmaking you start to learn more things about you know color and lighting and white balance and all the sort of the camera stuff the techie stuff as well as editing on whatever software you're using I mean you might be using iMovie on your iPhone or whatever the equivalent is on Android or on a computer it depends on what your budget is and what you have available but really you can pretty much edit for free and this is the beauty of YouTube because you can create videos and you can edit them, you can get free royalty free music easily and you can actually create a pretty decent YouTube video for zero cost apart from your time and upload it. Also all the promo stuff you can do which is also your keywords and descriptions and all that stuff and share it on Facebook and share it on Instagram and Twitter etc. Again all free so you can pretty much get started with zero cost. Pretty much all phones now have a decent quality camera on. You can literally do everything on your phone. You don't even need a computer. And, and I know of a friend of mine, Lily, Lily's Life, link up here to her channel, um, does exactly that. It's all done on her phone, edits on the phone, published, done. And amazing, and that's what I like to see. People sort of starting out and starting doing a vlog or doing um, something on their channel and just kind of learning as they go and getting better and better. And her editing is now, it's on point. It's really good very very proud to know her and kind of support her in her YouTube journey knowing what to make videos about is probably another question oh, you know shall I do gaming shall I do fashion makeup you know hair stuff clearly the the answer to all of that is do what interests you do something that you're absolutely interested in like I always talk about do something you're passionate about because that's gonna keep you going if you try to pick something that's trendy or something that you think other people might like then when you're tired and you know you're ill or whatever it is and you've kind of got on a real like Ugh, and you think oh today's the day I've got to do my video if you're doing weekly or, or whatever it is you're not really going to have that inspiration or motivation to do the video because you're like oh, I just I've got no interest in this game in what or makeup or whatever it is but if you're doing something that actually interests you like Lily does a lot of um, stuff with her drawing amazing stuff and also a bit of her life then it's something she's into you know that's that's the perfect thing do something you're interested in you're passionate about but like I'm passionate about the stuff that I share with you guys and that's why it keeps me going every single day to do it it's a bit of work you know to record the video you probably took in 20 25 minutes in total max but then you're probably looking two to two two three hours of editing and I think and I've said I think I'm a bit of a lazy editor I don't think I put as much in editing as perhaps some friends of mine like Brian Vlasic hugely amazing talented editor great stuff I'm now doing less vloggy type content and so less b-roll things like that so I'm doing more stuff like this which is kind of what I wanted to not do in the first place but I'm editing in a slightly different way to most people who do this kind of content so hopefully it's working let me know in the comments if you think this is kind of working or you, or you prefer the kind of other bits and pieces I'd love to know basically do something that you enjoy that you're passionate about that you really like doing and that will allow you to then keep doing it and keep doing it because one of the things with YouTube is consistency how often should you post again completely up to you it's very very related to the amount you post to how quickly you grow it's not the only factor but it is a factor because if you put one video out per month then you're gonna grow a lot slower than if you put one video out per week because there's just more content if you do it per week and if you do it two to three times a week or every day there's just a lot more content to grow and people to watch and if people hit your channel and like it they can then sort of binge watch some of the back episodes and that gets your view time up and you start to grow the more your view time goes up then YouTube shows your stuff on the suggested to other people etc etc so the more stuff and videos and content you have the more quickly you're going to grow 
I'm not saying everyone should do daily. I do daily, I love it, but it's down to your personal schedule and time because I'll be honest, it's a lot of work. I said, you know, to shoot the video, 20, 25 minutes, so half an hour, there, done. But then you look in two, three hours of editing every single day, that's a load of time and not everyone can afford that time and I'm not saying that you have to you work it to what you can do if you're working a normal full-time job and then traveling to and from plus family time a long long day and it's something I feel it's better to not commit to doing something like that daily and then have to back out of it than do something maybe once a week and then if you start to get better at the editing and it gets less time, you can then increase it to twice a week, three times a week, etc. Make sure you're doing something that you love to do and then, you know, just film it. You know, it doesn't make you think, don't need equipment, you know, anything flash, you can do it on your phone. You know, it's all completely fine. I think it's an amazing platform to be able to share your passion, your interest, whatever it is with the world. Now, one question I've heard a lot is, who would be interested, you know, what, what can I do to be? And all that kind of both self-doubt stuff. Well, the answer to that is simple. You know, everyone, you, you are super unique. You are unique, there's no one else like you in the world. And so whatever you're doing, even if you're doing gaming, or doing something that there's a trillion, billion, zillion other channels doing, you're doing it with your perspective. So don't try to be someone else. Try to be you, be yourself, be you. Bring your uniqueness to that particular thing. There's a ton of all channels that do makeup, fashion, gaming, all manner of different channels, but they're all uniquely different because the people are being themselves. Where you will fall on your ass is when you try to be like Logan Paul, Jake Paul, Cody Warner, Casey Neistat, Peter McKinnon. When you try to be like someone else, then it looks like you're copying someone else. It's like, uh, I might as well look the original. Whereas if you're just being you and your own spin on it, good and bad, you know, show the real you. You know, good points, bad points. But when people see the real you and you're being honest and authentic, then they'll love what you're doing and they'll follow you and you'll build a solid, audience and fan base you know whatever your purpose of doing the channel is and yep yeah, I mean that's that's the best advice I can give you know if you do have something that you want that you want to sort of share creativity whether it's art your ideas on makeup fashion whatever it is I can't emphasize and recommend it enough because it's such a great outlet video and obviously YouTube is the primary outlet for that but I cannot recommend it enough I get so much pleasure out of doing these videos. One, for myself, I actually, almost it's almost like self-therapy as well, but I enjoy doing them and I enjoy the whole process of, of editing and uploading. And yes, obviously, you know, you, you can get quite about, you know, channel growth and stuff like that. But my main focus is just producing the videos with good content. And, you know, if I do that enough, then it will happen. So I've gone way over time as I wanted to do today, but I wanted to just share that, you know, if you have got any aspirations or thoughts or anything like that, you want to start a YouTube channel, 100% do it. I couldn't recommend it enough. And don't get hung up about numbers or anything like that. Just do what you love doing, film it, however you're going to film it, outdoors, vloggy style, like this, doesn't matter. But just produce some sort of content. There's something hugely beneficial to you as a person because you're you're getting ideas out there. You're sharing your your uniqueness with the world. Perfect. And yeah, it's gonna. There's benefits everywhere. So thank you so much for watching. If you did get some value or enjoyed this, please share it around to anyone else and Ooh. hit that like button so it's nice and blue. And subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. Thanks for coming along on the journey and to share in my life with me. And um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thanks again for watching, guys. I really, really do appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do so down here. And check out my other video down here. Remember, live your best life and profit from that passion. See you next time. Bye-bye.